Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Good Saturday night to you, Heartland. Can you believe it? Mid-May, and we are going to be seeing frost on this Saturday night into tomorrow morning. A frost advisory is in effect from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. for most of our viewing area in both northeast Missouri and southeast Iowa as we're going to be seeing very, very cold temperatures dip down as we head into the overnight hours. Currently right now in Kirksville, it is clear with 42 degrees. Winds are coming from the west, northwest at 5 miles per hour. Dew point is at 29 with the humidity at 60%. In Ottumwa, clear skies, 44 degrees. Winds are coming from the northwest at 10 miles per hour. Dew point is at 23 with the humidity at 43%. Not too much on the satellite and radar today, and that is because we have a cold front that came through during the early morning hours, but there was no moisture associated with the cold front. It just came through very quickly, and that was why we had those very strong northwestern relief winds behind the cold front leaving behind as well the clear skies now as the daytime heating escapes right back up to our atmosphere is when we're going to be seeing the temperatures really drop to an overnight low of 35 degrees and with those clear skies that is why we're going to be seeing the patchy frost develop and it's still going to continue to be on the breezy side with north northwest winds 5 to 15 with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. It's still going to be 35 degrees at 7 a.m. with sunny skies tomorrow morning, and it's only warming up to 45 by 10 a.m. So here is how the weather pattern is shaping up as we wrap up into the weekend of our weekend and head into Mother's Day, folks. There's the cold front that passed through this morning and allowing high pressure to dominate our atmosphere. It's going to slide southward during the next 24 hours, but we are going to still see those northwesterly winds behind this high pressure system. But when are temperatures going to start warming up? Well, the good news is it's still going to be sunny and nice for Mother's Day tomorrow. So a big treat for your moms out there. And we do have a warm front that is going to be making its way into our area as we head into the next work week. But let's enjoy Mother's Day and the beautiful Sunday while we have it, folks. A high of 61 degrees tomorrow, so still on the cool side with sunny skies and northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, it's not just Mother's Day that's going on tomorrow, folks. We have graduation ceremonies continuing to occur across the heartland, such as making R1 High School. Congrats, seniors. It's looking picture perfect for your graduation tomorrow at the high school with sunny skies and 58 degrees. Tomorrow night, we are going to see temperatures dip down once again. It's not going to be as chilly. Low temperatures at 41 degrees with mostly clear skies with calm winds. But the good news, folks, is as you can see in your five-day extend forecast, wait a minute. There it is, folks, 87 degrees. That's going to be our high as we head into next week. Thanks to that cold front, that's going to move through. And then we're going to stay in the 80s as we head into Wednesday. And then we're going to see our next storm system move through, giving us nice, pleasant conditions and some rain as we head into the end of next week. And don't forget, you can always get your weather 24-7 at Heartland Connection. Com. I just wanted to surprise everyone with the 87 degrees, especially for the moms out there, Justin. It's just like we've been waiting for almost 90 degrees for like I don't know how long. So summer, I'm excited. Summer, summer, summer time. I'm so ready. Thanks so much, <laughs> Vanessa. Sports is next. We'll be right back.